People don't like being told what to do. Do it. Psychologists call this reactance, an emotional response when we feel like our choices are being taken away from us. When we're told what to do, this can make us less likely to do it, or even do the opposite. So, your father showed you the whole kingdom, did he? Everything. He didn't show you what's beyond that rise at the northern border. Well, no. He said I can't go there. And he's absolutely right. It's far too dangerous. Only the bravest lions go there. Well, I'm brave. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry, Simba. I just can't tell you. We've seen this kind of response with masks. Over time, the importance of mask wearing has been getting clearer. A review of research on public mask wearing found that universal mask wearing could be one of the most important tools in tackling the spread of COVID-19. But when scientists outline the need to wear masks, Donald Trump sent mixed messages. The CDC is advising the use of non-medical cloth face covering as an additional voluntary public health measure. So it's voluntary, you don't have to do it. They suggest it for a period of time, but uh, this is voluntary. I don't think I'm going to be doing it. Could you just take us through your thought process of why you decided not to wear Well, I did wear. I had one on before. I wore one in this back area, but I didn't want to give the press the pleasure of seeing it. As the science on mask wearing got stronger, Donald Trump went in the opposite direction, opposing masks or even mocking people who wore them. I couldn't hear you. The can, second, you can you take it up because I cannot hear I'll, you? I'll just speak louder, sir. Oh, this, okay, because you want to be politically correct. Go ahead. Biden can wear a mask, but he was standing uh, outside with his wife, perfect conditions, perfect weather. They're inside, they don't wear masks. And so I thought it was very unusual that he had one on. Trump's refusal to wear a mask has greater consequences than just endangering the people he comes in contact with. He also influences others to act the same way. Why not have a mandatory mask policy for that rally? Well, we're going to follow the president and the vice president's lead on that. Refusing to wear a mask is often justified as an appeal to freedom. I work for Costco and I'm asking this member to put on a mask because that is our company policy. So either wear the mask. And I'm not doing it because I woke up in a free country. This is not a selfish thing for me. This is a thing for me to try and free Americans so they can freely breathe. You know, it's freedom. Freedom is good for our life, especially in a pandemic. Claiming we don't have to wear a mask because it violates our freedom is a form of cherry picking, focusing on one piece of the puzzle while ignoring the larger picture. It focuses on individual rights while ignoring our responsibilities. Being a member of a free society means respecting the rights of others. Our freedom to behave however we like should be limited if that behavior endangers the health of others. Arguing that having to wear a mask violates your freedom is like arguing that stopping you from drinking and driving is a violation of your civil liberties. Of course, that's nonsense. The law is there to prevent you from endangering others, violating their right to a healthy life. The main purpose of masks is not to protect the wearer. You wear a mask to protect the people around you, and it's a small price to pay to safely reopen the economy. The irony is wearing a mask increases our freedom they're giving us more options to reopen businesses and society safely. That is the message from America's top doctor tonight after he posted this picture of himself wearing a face covering on Twitter today. The Surgeon General says wearing a mask does not take away your freedom, it increases it. Numerous studies suggest if around 80% of people wore a mask in public, we'd stop COVID-19 from spreading. Masks are a cheap, easy way to keep infections down while reopening society a much more preferable option than renewed lockdown. When you hear people talk about individual rights, are they trying to justify behavior that violates the liberties of others? Refusing to wear a mask isn't an expression of freedom. It violates the rights of others by putting them in unnecessary danger, and it reduces society's options to reopen safely. If you want the country to go back to normal, put on a mask. If you want the country to go back to normal, put on a mask.